hello, welcome, Mr. Uh, Evaristo. Nice to see you again. Thank you, teacher. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm doing well. Um, I've been working in the morning and I've been uh, checking some of the exercise that you were developing the platform and some comments mm -hmm. that you share there. And you, yeah, what yeah. are you doing? No, no, only uh, resting in my, my home. Oh, very good. Yeah, I spend, I spend all the day in my home. Oh, you didn't work? Uh, no, <clears throat> not today. Not Tomorrow oh. uh, I will work in, in my, like, uh, home office. Oh, okay, nice, yeah. great. Very new where, where, for me. Where do you work? Um, it's accounting, it's uh, audit, audit service. Um, oh. You know, like yeah. Okay. Okay, got it. Nice. That's good. You work the whole day. Excuse me. Do you work the whole day? From seven to five p.m. or just uh, middle day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, the eight to five, eight a.m. to five p.m. Oh, great! Yeah, normal like uh, eight hours. Oh, nice. It's a it's a private institution or or a public. Yes, yes, oh. yes. It's private. Uh, Okay. Very Normally nice. I work uh, Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday? Oh, okay. Yeah, Monday to Friday. Nice. Thank it's you. only me. Oh, very good. You are um, from San Salvador, right? No, San Miguel. San Miguel? Oh, no, San so Miguel. you're so close. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm, from, yeah. I'm from Zulutan. <laughs> you're so close. Yeah, like 40 minutes, right? 45 minutes. Less than that, I guess. Uh, I, yeah, I, when I go, it depends the traffic. <laughs> yes, when I go to San Miguel, I depends spend just uh, 30 minutes, 30, 25, but depending on the traffic. The last time I, I, I was there um, was mm -hmm. around two weeks ago, and they were like, like repairing some, some, uh, a, a part of the of the of the the path of, of the street there uh, mm -hmm. and it take me around 10 minutes waiting there mm -hmm. <laughs> till wow. they, well, yeah, they lay me. <laughs> yes do you know that do you know that company uh, in Usulutan is very famous uh, mm -hmm. uh, cable stat Yes, I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, the last time I went to Cablesat to oh, supervise the uh, country to uh, about IVA, IVA tax. Oh, taxes. Tax. Uh -huh. uh, you were working in about in, taxes. Scenes. About taxes. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Just yes. uh, supervise uh, the, the whole process. The oh. process is, is good. Uh, uh, I just uh, verify the, the process. We're checking just the financial things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's, that, that's, what, I, that's, what, I, that's what I do. That's oh, what I do. very good. So nice. Hey, welcome, and Mr. You... <laughs> Ramirez. Uh -huh. Tell me, Evaristo. What do you do for a living? Just uh, teaching or? No, I, I just, uh, <laughs> I, I'm a teacher. Yes, I'm a teacher. I work in um, Gerardo Barrios. Um, oh, wow. I'm, a, nice. I'm an English teacher. But I, I'm currently working here in, in Sulutan, um, mm -hmm. in, in this university. Mm -hmm. So in, in I, I take these classes online mm -hmm. because I was free and, and I say, ah, why not? I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Um, but it's, it's, it's good. Yes, yes. Nice, nice. nice, nice. Very nice. Yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Ramirez, nice to see you again. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? <laughs> I'm fine to you. Welcome. Let's say we're, we're going to start in, in some minutes um, this video class. Okay. And this class is going to be um, a little bit um, communicative because we're going to be discussing and things. You're going to be practicing your English. And I hope that you can participate in all the activities that we're going to be developing. Uh, we're going to uh, also see a, a topic and we're going to see a video too. And then we're going to be um, discussing, okay? Discussing, because uh, I want you to practice your English. No, eh, no, I don't want you to uh, just listen to me. I want you to practice. Let's see, I have here uh, Miss Garcia. Nice to see you. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good, very good. Thanks. Oh, amazing. That's great. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Miss Melara, how are you? Uh, how are you, teacher? I'm fine. Oh, that's great. Amazing. Let's see. Welcome to the video class. Uh, let me see Thank who you. else. Mr. Torres Amaya. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. fine. Oh, very good. That's great. Um, do you work today? No. It was a rest day. Day off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That, that's great. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Miss Lopez. How are you? She's not there. Uh, let's see, Miss Vidal. Hello, good evening. Mm, I can listen to you. Hello. Ah, okay, now I, I can listen now. Yeah, uh, I, I, <laughs> I was talking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, but I, I didn't listen. I, I don't know why. But, uh, welcome to the video class. Maybe it's my internet. Oh, man. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, Miss Lopez, welcome. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Nice to see you again. my pleasure okay very good let's see so uh, is there someone missing uh-huh let's see miss uh, gabriela hello hello good evening hello. <laughs> good evening gabriela nice to see you nice to see you too okay very good so um, as I told you before, we're going to be uh, working uh, today, I mean, tonight class, but this is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be practicing our English. What we're going to be uh, doing is talking, talking and practicing, okay? We're going to see, we're going to develop a, a topic, uh, but uh, we're going to focus in speaking because you're going to be practicing. I don't want you, as I, as I told you before, I don't want you to be just listen to me. Uh, I want you um, to, I want you that you can practice English. Uh, and let's see. Um, the first thing that we're going to do, to do, I mean, is to uh, check this image that I have prepared for you. And then we're going to be discussing well, it's a, a slide, but it's, I, I, I took it from a picture, um, this one. It said, the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. 
let's see, I'm go we're going to be one by one and you're going to give me your opinion about it. And what do you think about this quote? And um, if you have, if you want to share examples of things, you can do it. And let's see, uh, the number one, let's see the list that I have here. Give me a second. Uh, Miss Lopez, Miss Lopez, Elisa Lopez. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Uh, what do you think about this quote? The best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Um, maybe quit talking. No. Okay, Being tell doing me why. Yes. Because if I have a project. If I talking about my project, okay. I don't do better thinking, making. After, okay. if doing, I can start talking because the project is on the way, is enrolled. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent opinion. Uh, let's see now, Miss. Um, Uh, Silvia Lopez. Yes. Okay. Tell me, what do you think about this quote? It says the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Yes, I am agree with that because uh, many people say the same and think that oh, I want to fly or I want to travel, but never they make a plan or a schedule for doing, and that is correct. Okay, very good. Thank you. Ms. Garcia? Okay. I think it's necessary to have a plan, but Upstart, um, you need to start um, doing the activities, not only talking, because a lot of people um, talking much, much talking, but uh, doing a little, a little. Then is is necessary more uh, talking to do. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Uh, let's see, Mr. Sanchez. Evaristo. Hi. Hi. Okay. Yes. Tell me, what do you think uh, about my internet? Is is very thin. okay? Let me, I don't know if he. Uh, let me think. The best way, the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. I uh, I think is is very true, and sometimes um, uh, we just talk, we just talk about uh, our goals and our, uh, you know, like um, our projects or something like that. Um, and never, and never begin doing. We never start uh, start to do the the. Uh, you know that uh, we never take the first step for to to achieve or to get the uh, our goal. Uh, it, it's not good to just talking about our goals. It's, uh, we we have to do it. We have to uh, um, study. We start, We have to um, do the homework. Uh, we have to practice English. You know, uh, in in this context, uh, we have to uh, learn English like a, um, a foreign language. Uh, it's very difficult, but uh, we we. Um, we can do it uh, with uh, enforcement, like uh, 
discipline, you know, um, and begin doing. Okay, thank you. Very good. I like your answer. Um, let's see. Uh, Miss Vidal, Michelle. Hello. Hello, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Um, I think, well, I agree with this because I think um, in some cases we only talk and say that I would like to do this, I would like to do that, but we never begin to to get uh, our dreams or maybe in other in other case, um, we promise a lot of things, but we never do. We only talk, talk, and talk, but we never begin to do that that we promise. Okay, thank you. Very good. Let's see. And uh, who else? Who wants to participate? I guess, in short words, the most difficult thing is the beginning. And mm. that is what we have to do. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's right. Um, as you say, one of the most difficult things that sometimes sometime happen to a human being is to begin doing something. Okay, because we can say, okay, I'm going to search project, I'm going to uh, do this thing, um, I'm going to go to this place, I'm going to travel, and things like that. We uh, speak um, or we talk um, many things, and sometimes we are not decide to uh, begin doing. We don't have a... a a gold, um, and I think that one of the uh, of the things that we must uh, set for life is to um, establish goals, and at the end say, okay, I did this, uh, I did that because I start doing. So, and let's see, um, there is someone else who wants to participate and in, in add something to this quote. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I think the, it's a great quote, actually. And for example, a lot of people want to be in a good shape and healthy, but nobody wants to make exercise or so have have a good diet okay thank you very good okay well um i will show you right now uh, thank you for all the participate for in the participation by the way and we are going to uh go to to the uh, topic that we're going to be developing for tonight class let me show you the objective Okay. okay, here we have the objective uh, that we are going to try to achieve um, tonight. And it says, in this class, you will listen to how people give some advice. You will see by, by plus Yaron in context. Okay. Um, first of all, I want you to, um, to define the word um, Yaron. Okay, before going to, to the talk, what the, what gerunds means? Okay, do you know what is gerunds or what are gerunds? A gerunds denote uh, an action. Okay, it's an action. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see. The topic. The name of this uh, of this lesson is maybe I should try that. Okay, maybe I should try that. 
And here we have uh, the first thing, by plus year. Um, by plus year, um, it's a method of doing something. Um, and this one can be expressed with a prepositional phrase. This uh, prepos prepos prepositional uh, phrase includes by plus a year, okay? The prepositional phrase is an adjunct to the main clause because the sentence can be considered complete without it. Um, if we create a sentence using uh, by plus gerund, we're going to have uh, two clauses, okay? But uh, in the case of the prepositional phrase, it says that it, it, it can work as a main clause while we're expressing something. Let's see, because I'm listening that someone has the microphone now open. Let me see who. Uh, okay, here. Okay, let's continue. We're going to see um, some of the um, examples that I have for you. We have uh, the main clause plus the adjunct. Okay, the main clause, that is a sentence that we can use and it has its own meaning. It says, you can open it, okay? You can open it. And the adjunct that we're going to be um, using is the by plus a year. And as your classmates say before, um, a gerund is an action. Let's see here. Here we have, you can open it by using a knife, okay? You can open it by cutting the string. You can open it by tearing open the end. You can open it by rem removing the wrapping paper, okay? So those are ways that we can use the um, preposition by plus the journal. In these sentences, um, we are using an action, okay? An action that depend on the main clause. Here we have another example. Um, I manage it by working much longer than for, uh, 40 hours a week, okay? If we notice here, we're using the verb work, the verb work plus the ing for this, um, let me use the marker here to show you how. Let me see. This part working, okay. This part, it, it is called gerund, gerund. Um, as this phrase, we have many other uh, prepositional phrases that we uh, need to use a year when, when we use it. Um, there is a rule in English that it says that, that it, it says that after preposition, we must add a year or an infinitive. Okay. In this case, we are talking about year that is formed by using the verb or the main verb. In this case, this is a main verb, okay? Plus the ing form. If we do this, if we do this, uh, we are creating a zero. Let's see. We're going to watch a video and then we're going to discuss. This is a um, small conversation, okay? Um, that we are going to watch and then you're going to let to, to tell me uh, what information can you understand about it. I will play it. Just give me a second. I will stop sharing and then I will share with uh, some. Then give me a second. Let's see this way. Um. 
let's see Okay, here we have. So please pay attention to the video. Let me know if you can't listen the, the audio, please, because if not, I will stop it and then I will repeat it again. Hello, sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening. Okay, can you listen to that? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay, yes, great. Thank you. Very good. So let's watch this video. Please pay attention. Hello. Sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? 1. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know, I put all the words together that have to do with food or work or home or school, whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Two, I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Okay, let's see. Um, after we watch a video, maybe you can guess what this part is going. You are going to um, you are going to discuss. Okay, what techniques do you use for learning English, or remembering vocabulary, or improving listening, or improving speaking? And you are going to um, the breakup rooms and you will be discussing in, in, in maybe trios. Um, and I will be visiting uh, the old rooms and I want you to discuss, to share, because uh, this can be helpful for everybody, okay? I want you to discuss what techniques do you use for learning English? Maybe for learning vocabulary too, for learning, I mean, for improving pronunciation, for improving writing, for improving listening, etc. 
okay? Uh, let's see, you're going to be, let me see how many you are. Three, yes, three is okay. Breakout rooms must be in three. Okay, yeah, I have. Let's see. Uh, please accept the invitation to the breakout room. And we're going to be back in around uh, six minutes. Okay, I guess six minutes is okay. But I want you to discuss, okay, to talk about your techniques. Go ahead. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing okay. So, okay. only two working. Really? Okay. So, what techniques do you use to learn? vocabulary well um i'm studying english since i was a a little girl so um my father stay in the uh, usa so he gave me some books and dictionaries with some drops so that's what um, very easy to me to start learning. Now I usually do it by reading. I try to do it and uh, practice it in maybe once or twice a week. And the word that I don't understand, I go looking for it in the translator or I try to understand what it could mean. So that Mm. I can practice and and I learn a lot of yes. Yes. And, and after that I wrote the the mini and the and the notebook and when again I hear another word, maybe in a song, maybe in a book, I I do the the same things. It's like um, um, the procedures I have to do when I found a new uh, new word. And how about you, Evaristo? Okay, in my case, I watch movie series or. So all in English in the techniques um, I have learned is watch the movie or watch the series without without subtitles, with subtitles and without subtitles, three times. Without, with, and, and without. without. And... Yeah, like, it's, it's a good technique for me, for me, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I learn new words, um, phrase of bird, uh, phrase of uh, expression, expression. Mm -hmm. um, and the other technique is uh, speak or talk with my friends. Uh, they are native speakers. And that's why it's a good, good technique, technique for me. Um, read a uh, different book in English. Uh, my career is um, I I read uh, 
all the information about my career in English. Um, and the uh, other technique is, um, mm, let me see, um, all my devices is in English. Uh, it's, it's good for me. All you device very, cool. <laughs> very good. All my yes. devices, uh, my laptop, my phone, my my cell phone is uh, in English. Okay. Yes, good. I think it's a good technique because mm -hmm. you search a lot of words in internet and you have more knowledge for you mm -hmm. speaking. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think it's necessary to practice a lot of to work because the people not done talking is difficult to, to improve the talking. Uh, do you, do you? Mm, it's correct, it repeat the words and uh, learning barriers is important. Um, having vocabulary is important for the sentence in the conversation. Yes, because that helps you to, to talk with fluency. Well, uh, right now I, I listen to the music, I play it with an app, the name is Cake, and also I have studied at university, and in that university I had a lot of homework in English, and, and I read, I listen some conversation and do a lot of exercise. That was great. It, actually, reading is a, is a good way to learn. You can improve your vocabulary. Comprehension. The comprehension too. The vocabulary, the way to think, stop translating in your head is, is a, it's a great way. The same thing happened watching movies, and it's more funny because then you see, you understand, and you practice the what's the word? I forget it. The correct form to so to talking a word. It's true. I agree with you. It's a good way. And what kind of series or movie do you like? Uh, more or less funny, uh, thriller, scary, no? I, I can't, I don't sleep, I'm uh, thinking. <laughs> it makes me nervous. <laughs> so, scary, no? And, uh, familiar um Romantic, but not much. For the pronunciation, is 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 good to see movies or series. Yeah, but full English, any subtitles. With subtitles. That's that. Or that's without subtitles. Without. Yeah, without. Yeah. No. It's great. If you see Spanish, your brain translate, listen, uh, and reading. But yeah. if you don't see the traduction, you understand. You understand the same way you learn Spanish when you was a kid. <laughs> yeah, That's you are sense. right. <laughs> so you know, you're tonight and the after days, you must watch a movie, you twice. Yeah, but and I prefer books. 
Yeah, it's good too. Actually, the last week I began a book, full English. But last week I read a page number one, and this week, bueno, well, today I read the half page number two. Where I can remember what I read. That is bad. Actually, I'm reading a book in English is about a, a man who lives in North Korea. He's a mercenary and he, he has a lot of missions, uh, award missions. And he's uh, listening a song in English. And mm -hmm. that way is uh, you can learn more. Yeah. I think that's true. But you you speaking very well. Really? So congrats. <laughs> yes. Open. What happened? Yeah, I don't know when the leave what happened. But they should leave. Really? <laughs> I see the English corporativo. <laughs> Lo siento. Uh, sorry guys I was I was talking I didn't notice that I wasn't I was uh, muted so sorry <laughs> now the thing um I was asking you uh, I was asking you and, and, and I was shaking that nobody was answering me answering me and and I said why <laughs> so until you I till I listen you uh the teacher leave no 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 <laughs> I'm here but I didn't notice, so sorry. Uh, well, I want to ask you, how, were you, how was your experience um, talking with your classmate? Um, let's see, we're going to start with uh, Ms. Lopez. Elisa, tell me, what was your experience talking with your classmate? What's funny? Actually, was funny. Tell me what 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 do you discuss? Um, I discover Miss Lopez. She's more good student. She has that method. Paper, she say, and with friends help them. Miss Torres, Mister Torres. Uh. He loves real. 
um, that the form he say, I guess a little funny. And my way is watching movies without subtitles and listen music. Okay, so very good. that's it. Okay, very good. Let's see, uh, Mr. Ramirez, how was your experience? It was uh, very interesting. Uh, okay. Always, uh, talking with a uh, co worker so classmates is uh, interesting. Uh, I, um, I talked with uh, Wendy Alvarez, I think, <laughs> and uh, she talked uh, some techniques to uh, learn the calorie that uh, she used, like a uh, uh, it translated when uh, she does um, understand any words, uh, she uses a dictionary and, and other techniques that is really interesting is a uh, uh, listening, listening music because uh, she was told to me that uh, you can listen and you when you are going to the war, you can listen in the, in the, in the card. This is a good way to, to learn English. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's see, Mr. Torres. Hi. Well, Hi. <laughs> my classmate oh. told me that did she learn English watching movies or series without subtitles and reading newspapers and talking with some friends? And my way is learning through the music, translating the music that I love, and that's what that's the way that I know the meaning of the sounds and improve my language and my vocabulary. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, let's see, Miss Garcia. Okay, I could always tell, tell that the techniques that use is the listening music um, and I also share with us the he used in all device in, that he used in English. In, oh, that's a good technique. Yes, yes, yes his technique in, in he learned with real life English in, or learn with TV series in YouTube in listen music in read a book in English and I share in a good um, technique that I use is in with car with car with the magic in, for example, for vocabulary, when I start to learn English, in, I show the cards and the other classmate tell the, the word, the, rep, the show word, the car. And I read uh, uh, books too, and I read, um, the Secret Garden is a good book, the talk, the talks. And listening in sometimes VOA learning English. And only, only that. Okay, thank you. Very good. Uh, let's see who else, Miss Vidal. Are to listen to music, maybe watch movies or videos in English, um, practice and uh, repeat some words, and um, talk with another people in, in English to, to talk with more fluency. Okay, that's, that's very good. Yeah. 
Currently, it's a good technique uh, to talk with, with uh, someone um, who speaks English too. Why? Because we can uh, improve the fluency and also we can get more vocabulary and improve pronunciation too. Um, that's good. If you have someone who speaks English, uh, you, can, you can start talking with him um, in, in this language because it's really helpful. Uh, let's see. Who else? Miss Melara? Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, in my case, it's a uh, put text and now just in English and repeat words is uh, difficult for me, but intent uh, practice. Um, try and um, translate and research the words, practice the words and the memories them. Um, read in the words and um, practice listen the music, e watching the movies and and translate the the content. Okay, that great. is okay very good that's great so um i seen that you share many of many techniques that you can use for learning english and, and those uh, are great and are good techniques that you can practice if you listen to someone if you listen to your classmate uh, working with specific techniques and you think that it can work for you you can try it okay you can try it and, and do it in that way too. Because sometimes uh, when we're learning English, um, we face, um, let's see, I have a message here, oh, no, it's not okay. okay. We face uh, that we don't know how to, how to start, how to um, work in, in, in some specific things like, improving listening, like improving reading, uh, improving pronunciation, things like that. We don't know how to start. And uh, one of the things that we must uh, we must try to do is to look for techniques. Uh, sometimes you will feel like some of them are bored, um, but others are like mm, a little bit funny. For instance, uh, people who likes to read, they will feel more comfortable reading a, a book, okay? People who uh, don't like um, reading books, maybe they feel more comfortable watching series, watching movies, uh, or listening music, things like that. So those things can work. Um, the thing is that you uh, involve, you can enroll in the Let's see. Um, I think that that has been all for tonight. Um, and I guess we uh, discussed many themes here in this video class. And I, I think that you practice a, a little bit English. We're going to be doing things like this uh, in the following uh, video classes. Um, and also we're going to be developing some uh, specific uh, topics during this course. Uh, we are missing around, let me see, four, five, six, seven, yes, I guess seven uh, classes, online classes uh, in Zoom. And we're going to be practicing because one of the things that we must uh, do is practicing in this course. Mostly because you are in pre-advance and, and you must um, uh, improve your um, speaking skills and, and, and listening skills. That's one of the harder things in English. Um, let's see, do you have any questions for me uh, about the platform, about uh, any exercise that you want to solve? Um, so, about something? Teacher, I have something. Okay, tell me. 
I don't know if is if correct, but it, I think that is is the last week to the, just the course. I don't no, know. you're missing you're missing seven classes. That means three from this eh, for this week and four classes the next week. Okay, I, I say I say that because uh, in the other courses and before uh, the platform we have to realize uh, uh, at least one one week uh, before to the end of the the class classes because oh. uh, they they said that the 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 date in the platform is it an administrative date. But the course is a, is a, is less time to to the end. I don't know. If, if okay, if they okay, if they say that you must finish the platform, all the exercise platform before um, uh, that week, you must do it because uh, otherwise you won't get the certification. So that's meaning if they if they are uh, told to to you that uh, you must finish during this week, please do it, okay? Do it. Um, I think you have, let, let me check the, the email that I had from this group because I have some information here. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, according to the, to the so the information that I have here, uh, wait, give me a second, yeah, this, this one. Uh, okay, according to the information that I have here, um, this course finished on February 19, okay? February 19, but you uh, have to be careful with the dates that you have in the platform. Uh, as Mr. Ramirez says, if they told to you that you must finish during this week, uh, please try to um, do it as soon as possible. And uh, if you have any doubt about any exercise, you can ask in the group. Uh, I, I've seen something that you have been sharing um, uh, some, some answers. You have been uh, trying to solve the exercise together and that's good and that's i like it because you are interacting in the group and, and that's, that, that's something good for you okay so you can do it you can do it in that way you can help each other and and don't worry you can share information you can share something specific uh that you want to solve and, and it's great don't worry about it uh, keep doing that keep doing it that way um so let's see, any other answer? I mean, uh, question. You have any other question? If not, so that's been all for tonight and I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock, okay? Uh, see you guys and bless. See you tomorrow, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, have a good Thank you, everybody. Have a good night, teacher. Good night, Hello. everyone. Hello, nice week.